Years ago, our Nana was trained in the ways of magic. Her classmate, Kong Lee, defied their master and unleashed the power of a magical cookbook. Nana stopped them. But the pages of the book were scattered. Now Kong Lee is back to recover the pages and use them against Chinatown. At Wu's garden, Nana trained us to stop it. We three have the power to save Chinatown. And the world. A side of rice, a little broccoli. A flying bicycle, a secret recipe. And on the way home, I'll solve a mystery. is essential to the art of Kung Fu. It will make you a better fighter. Yeah, right. Can't beat hands-on training. Hey, you're right, Nana. Meditation does work. Another box of fortune cookies? That's the third shipment since yesterday. Wu's Garden is an official sponsor of the Golden Fortune Cookie Contest. Cookies! <laughs> Contained in the Golden Fortune brand cookies are... Golden Fortunes? How did you know? Uh, tell them what they'll win! The lucky kid who finds one gets a tour of the factory and a lifetime supply of Golden Fortune cookies. Awesome! They're for customers! They had a contest like that when I was young. It was sponsored by Monkey King Cookies. Never heard of it. Monkey King was the greatest cookie factory in Chinatown until it mysteriously shut down. The owner was never seen again, and it's been sealed tight ever since. You think Kong Lee got him? He probably just retired. Not everything in Chinatown has to do with Kong Lee. I bet he's still inside. And if you walk by late at night... You were saying... Ah, we meet again, Floor. to work. As soon as word gets out that we have more golden fortune cookies, the kids will be banging down the doors. Barney, prepare the cookies. When I get back, I'm going to find a golden fortune. is going on. Not now. I'm dork watching. Yes! You were saying? Coco Wong is missing. Ah, I delivered to her and her teddy bear yesterday. Yeah, well, no one has seen her since. Everyone knows Coco loves hide and seek, and she's good. Remember last time? She had the whole town looking for her. So you don't think we should check this out? Sue, so we're supposed to be fighting evil, defending Chinatown against Kong Lee. We're not babysitters. I got the cookie. I got the cookie. Okay, maybe we are babysitters, but I'm sure her parents and the police will find her. What are you guys talking about? Coco Wong. Oh, yeah. That girl can hide. Fine. If you guys are too scared to head over to Coco Wong's... Scared? I'll beat you there. Not if I get there first. Hey, wait up. Excuse me, where do you think you kids are going? What did I tell you? The cops will never let us in on this. Just leave the talking to me. Hi! 
we're from the Chinatown High newspaper. Congratulations. Well, that went well. That's okay. We need an official quote anyway from someone in charge. Uh, just a second there. I'm the head honcho. If anybody spills the beans, it'll be me. The family had just finished dinner when Coco Wong vanished. Uh, if you ask me, this is just another case of Coco's hide-and-seek shenanigans, but the joke's on her. She's missing out on her golden oh. ticket! Have you found any other clues? Off the record, a couple of folks around here have reported seeing some sort of hairy creature. Well, nothing strange here. It's cookie time. Hello? He said there was a creature? And I said it's cookie time. Thanks for your help. No problem. Dude, enough with the cookies. You guys, quit joking around. If there really is some creature running around Chinatown, then Kong Lee might be behind this. And if we don't stop him, Coco Wong could be in trouble. Fine. But Dad... Less complaining, more promoting. I'm Mr. Cookie Man. Get your golden fortune cookies. Yeah, laugh it up. Okay, that's it. No one gets cookies. Who's laughing now? Okay, very funny. Pick Mr. Cookie Man up now. Hey, stop that, Dad! Coco, come out, come out wherever you are. Work with me, Coco. Coco's teddy bear. Here, you know. Then why are you out here? Never mind. It's not safe. I know. I'm looking for Coco Wong. It's not just Coco. All the kids of Chinatown are disappearing. Suki Yang on Cornelia Street. Hold on. Let me get this down. Susie Miller on Smith Street. Zach Brown on Moth. Who knows? You or I could be next. Evil has descended on Chinatown. Ah! I'm coming, Mom. See you at school. Okay. Sid, where are you? Do I have to do everything? Ah! Uh, you called? Sid, this is no time to lie around. I think Kong Lee is using some sort of disappearing recipe on the kids of Chinatown. Yes, Sue. It could be a disappearing recipe. Or maybe, just maybe, it was a recipe for evil winged monkeys. That was my second guess. They took Coco Wong and they probably took the rest. Wait, you're serious? Flying monkeys? It was dark, but I'm pretty sure that thing that carried me over Chinatown was a flying monkey. Yes. And it was scary. And they're furry. And they make this sound like... like... <laughs> okay, I believe you. I'm sending you the addresses of the other kids. Let's ride. As soon as I find my bike. <laughs> Not now, stomach. Not now, stomach. We have to find Cookie. I mean, Coco. Wait a minute. How could I forget? You're mine, golden ticket. Yes! I'm a monkey. Huh? That's not even a fortune. Now, leave 
your troubles behind and go to your happy place. Look around. What do you see? Sandy Beach. Palm trees. Screaming kids? Barney! Keep those kids quiet! They're wrecking my happy place! Find anything? Moth Street looks familiar. I think I delivered here yesterday. Yeah, I delivered to Smith and Cornelia. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, we work too much. I mean, if the kids are disappearing everywhere we delivered, the magic recipe could be mixed up at Wu's garden. You're right. I'll meet you there. Harry kids. Everyone ordered something different. The Yangs ordered Kung Pao Surprise. The Browns ordered Wu's famous Mushu. They can't all be from a magic recipe. There is one thing they all have in common. <laughs> it's the fortune cookies! That monkey's wearing Toby's shirt. What have you done with Toby? Oh, Sue! Wait a minute. Toby? I'd recognize that annoying voice anywhere. Thank you. Prove it. Say something else. Something else. <laughs> Told ya. You. You're right. Good call. Um, hello? Monkey talking? Trying to tell you guys something important? Okay, I found a golden fortune from Mr. Wu's shipment. When I cracked it open, this is what happened. Nice wings. Thanks. Actually, they're pretty cool. The fortune cookie turned you into a monkey? Are you sure? Wait, don't open it. But he can't be right. We always serve fortune cookies. Not this brand. <gasps> Monkey King. These cookies were in every order we delivered. Nana, I thought you said the company closed. It did, just a few years ago. This sounds like magic full fortune cookie recipe. Any fortune placed in the cookie comes true. Monkey King cookies is up to no good. And it's using the phony contest to attract kids. There was an ad on every street we investigated. You kids have to get to that factory. We must get that recipe. Let's ride. So, Sue, you were pretty worried about me, huh? You've been eating too many bananas. Actually, Sue, you did seem kind of freaked out. She was all, what have you done with him? <laughs> okay, at least I'm not a monkey. Touche. The side door. Great. Now what? I know. We can scale the building and climb in through that window. All we need is some rope. Or we can just walk in. I... Hey, how did you... Don't underestimate the wings. Don't have to yell. Sorry. 
Just start looking for the recipe. Jackpot! This stuff is definitely magic. Now we just have to find the actual recipe. Fortune cookie recipe. This is too easy. <laughs> Hand over the recipe. Yeah, right. If you want this recipe, you're gonna have to come and get it. Oh, goody. A game. I win. That was fun. Did Kong Lee put you up to this? Who's Kong Lee? I'm the boss around here. Then why are you doing this? Why? Nobody wanted me my friend because I'm different. But now that everyone's just like me, I have tons and tons of friends. <laughs> He's got all the kids in Chinatown trapped in his warehouse. You'll never get away with this. Furry! Jangles! Watch them. Make sure they don't escape while I go get the hot fudge for the banana bar. <laughs> Toby, take the monkey act down a notch or remove shoe. What act? <laughs> Give me that. Put that down. I hate this tree. Wake up, Barney. Wake up! Barney! Oh, no. It's a nightmare! Think, think. There has to be some way to reverse the spell. This is actually not bad. For prison food. I know. We could get a sample of cookie dough and bring it to Nana. Maybe she can find an antidote. Okay, genius. How do you suggest doing it from inside this cage? Wait a minute. Toby, what was your fortune? It was dumb. Something about a monkey. And you turned into a monkey? Remember what Nana said? All we have to do is write a fortune that reverses the spell and put it in one of the match cookies. We must have something we can write on. Just an old gum wrapper. It'll have to do. What should we write? I know. How about Toby is not a monkey? That's good. But maybe we should write a fortune that would help everyone. What about everyone goes back to normal? Perfect. I still like mine. Toby, you take this fortune and try to get it into a cookie without the Monkey King seeing. Got it. And Toby, don't forget to break the cookie or else the fortune won't come true. Do I look like an idiot to you? Don't answer that. Okay, that's done. Now we just have to break out of this cage. You guys, I need your help. Stand guard. Okay, we've got your back. They're wide enough. <laughs> Step aside, young one. I was once a master at the monkey bars. Sue, there's no way. I'm sorry, you were saying something? Is he dancing? If you can call that dancing. <laughs> now, do the robot! This is so lame. Let him go! The cookie! Break the cookie! Is that all you got? Over here! 
Toby's normal. Let's not get carried away. Hey, I'm back. I'm a kid again. What? You're just a kid? When I found the full fortune recipe in my dad's factory, I, I tried to make my own cookies. But when I ate the one with the Monkey King fortune, I turned into a monkey. So did I, but I didn't go bananas. After a while, I couldn't control myself, and then everyone was scared of me, and no one wanted to be my friend. I've been the Monkey King for so long, I, I forgot who I really am. You can give us that recipe now. Trust me, you'll make more real friends just being yourself. Yeah, just don't be like him. There was talk of a lifetime supply of cookies. Uh, I'll make you a fresh batch. Sweet! I think we better make sure everyone's back to normal first. Nice job, guys. It was worth it just for the cookies. It was worth it just to see Toby's dance moves. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you... I was distracting him. Wait, you guys thought I was dancing? <laughs> Good work. Now Chinatown is safe from the Fu Fortune Cookie recipe. If I never see another fortune cookie, it'll be too soon. That reminds me. Oh, fortune cookies. Yum. <laughs> Don't worry. These aren't ordinary fortune cookies. They're a special batch of my own magic cookies. They're only for emergencies. What do they do, Nana? Each one does something different, but I haven't perfected them yet. Right now, I'm just glad you're all safe and back to normal. You say it, Nana. Coco? Where have you been hiding? How many times have I told you not to play hide and seek?